Arduino. Arduino? What's that? What's in the box? Well, it is an unboxing video. An Arduino, for those of you that don't know, is an open source circuit board which houses a microcontroller. You can connect to that any type of sensor, something that would sense noise or light. You can also plug into it servos, motors, and anything you want to create a movement or do something. So for the photographers amongst us, it could be very interesting. We could set it up so that upon sensing light or noise, it fires a camera flash so we can capture something that's happening very fast that we would normally miss. We could uh, create our own set of servo operated uh, sliders for time lapse to move, take a photo, move, take a photo. Because the other thing that this does is you can download computer code written yourself on a PC into the memory of this and it will just sit there on a loop. The reason I've bought it is I'd like to create some little security movie uh, capture devices for in the house. We've got a couple of dogs, they get up to all sorts of things when we're not here and we'd actually like to see it and we think it'd be quite funny. So rigged up to a sensor that will detect motion, I want to record what they're doing. So the Arduino, it's open source but I have bought this starter pack from the Arduino company, Stroke Society. This is just an unboxing. I'm not going to go any further today. It's just to see what is in the box, what you get. Um, and there will be future videos on this as I try and create the things I've just spoken about. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is the Arduino and it's the Arduino starter kit. Uh, this is the original original version. As I said, it is open source, so anybody can get hold of the schematics online, and it's using standard electronic components. So there are loads of different starter kits on the market. I wanted to go with the original. I like it. I think it's um, good to show a little bit of uh, loyalty to the company that brings something to market when it's open source. Um, and also for the first time installing the software and using everything, I didn't want to fall foul of any issues for non-compatibility. So if I thought I buy the original, I use all the original software, get it working. If it does prove to be much cheaper to buy um, open source parts from another manufacturer, the Chinese parts are really very cheap. I may do that. I may elect just to stay with Arduino, but that will be my decision and obviously and yours too. So this is what you get in the original start kit. Okay, so let's look at the box. It is nicely nicely packaged, nice bit of printing on the box. Um, it includes a projects book um, that leads you through the realisation of 15 exciting projects. We'll see how exciting they are, but let's, uh, let's look. So here are here are the projects. There we go, I hope, I hope that focuses in nicely for you. Um, and there's a huge amount of uh, components inside. So let's open this and have a look. Okay, so this is nice, nicely packed. Wow, the book is a very nice piece of work. It has the, uh, the circuit diagram here on one side of the page, a schematic of the diagram underneath it. It gives you an explanation of what's happening. And then it talks about the code and explains what the code's about. So it does say there's no um, required coding level. Some knowledge would be advantageous, obviously, but that looks good. So here's a little booklet about uh, 
registering your Arduino. Some details about it. Here we have the parts. So, here we have the board itself. You can see where a USB is used to connect it to a computer. You have a power source in case you want to run it separately to untether it from a computer. The microcontroller itself, you have the uh, various pins that you can use to control in or out. Uh, they're digital. And then you have the analog controller pins here. And you've basically got your power and ground and a few other things there. I don't know much about it yet. I've just had a brief read up upon it. So a box here with electronic components. Okay, so we appear to have a considerable amount of resistors. I'm not familiar with all of these yet, so I'm not going to pretend to know what they all do. I've got um, a little piezo speaker from the look of it. Um, the positive and negative power leads to connect this to a, a board. Lots of LEDs here. Um, some more little integrated circuit boards. Yep. Again, I don't know what all of this does yet, so uh, let's just carry on looking through the box and then perhaps in a subsequent video we can go into a bit more detail or as we use them as I step through each project in turn we will learn what all the bits do. So we have a DC servo motor. So there's the motor. I assume this is the electronics by which to control it. And here we have the wiring for the uh, breadboard. Okay, so breadboard is a curious expression. This allows you to wire together different components without having to use soldering. So if you look on these wires here, on the ends they have bare metal. And the bare metal pushes down into these holes and then you add another component into the same line and that creates a connection. If you decide you've got it wrong or you want to use a different color LED, you take one out, you put another one in. I shan't take those out, but these are all different lengths and colors, presumably so each circuit you put on there you can differentiate by a different color. Got an LCD display, by the use of the uh, computer program, you can get that to so obviously going to be quite basic, but to scroll, hello, good morning, the temperature is, I've just sensed this, can you hear that? That should be quite interesting to use. And a USB cable, a very bright USB cable. And that is for connecting the board up to a computer. So you can download the uh, the computer program to it. No idea what these are. I can only assume that they are something for one of the many projects which is in the book. Again, something else I don't know. I guess that's going to spin or move, judging from the color coloration upon it. And we have some more pieces. Again, I should imagine each one of these will be used in one of the projects. And there we go, just as I run out of space, I run out of parts. The contents of the Arduino starter kit. Maybe if you're looking at another starter kit online, you can compare what you get in that kit for what you get in this kit. I'll leave a link in the uh, comments section. Um, 
to Amazon, which is where I bought that from. So you can see the current price. I won't tell you what it costs now because things move up and down and I don't want you to watch this video in the future and you find I'm quoting a wrong price, but I'll add a link there. You can look at that. You can also look at other places, um, make a comparison and compare to what, you've, uh, what you see here. So I can't wait to get started on this. Um, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make at least a video for each one, each one of these uh, projects. Um, and that way if anybody else is working, you can, you can watch it, you can see what it's like, you can give me feedback on what you're doing, I can do the same. I think that might be quite a nice thing to do online. So, I hope you found that helpful. Um, I was quite surprised, uh, not by the number of components, I knew there was going to be lots of components inside, but the quality of this book uh, and all the detail within it um, is really quite surprised me. I'm certainly going to do another video, having a quick look at the first few pages of this book, it goes through all the details of each of the components, so I think I'm going to do that first of all. Resistor, it does this, this is how many you get. A servo motor, this is it, this is all it's for. So somebody that can wants to spend a little bit of time really understanding the, the detail of the parts in this pack, they can have that. I'm not going to do it in this video, let's keep this one short just as the unboxing. Then when that's done, I'll work through each project and do one video per project. And at the end of it, it'd be great to get some feedback from you guys as to suggest what we should try and do, whether it is a photography related one Let's face it, this is Chappers Photography, or whether there's something else that just uh, might be interesting to try before we do the photography one. So, as I say, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Please leave any comments you have below, any questions. I'm happy to answer them. I'll go through and tell you what else is in the pack or in more detail. I'll answer you there. Thanks for checking in. See you soon. Bye-bye.